Week number one is all about goal setting. And if you do not know where you need to go, you're never going to get there. More importantly, if you do not know who you need to become in order to achieve what you desire, then you will never obtain it. So week number one, we're focusing on setting specific goals that are gonna motivate you and move you closer to the player you need to be. Week number two, mentality. If your mind is not working for you, I guarantee you, it's currently working against you. You need to have a strong mental foundation, the ability to overcome problems, confidence in tough situations. So many players play well in training or play well with their friends, but they crumble under pressure. We need to sort that out immediately. Week number three, training principles. What you do is very important, but how you do it is even more important. So in this section, we are gonna talk about what you should be focusing your time on, but more importantly, how to get more out of the time you invest. I want you to be the type of player who gets more out of one hour than most players get out of 10 hours. And that is totally possible if you start following the advice of these training principles and techniques. Week number four, nutrition. Sadly, an area overlooked by most players. And if you've managed to get decent results without taking nutrition into consideration, imagine what you could do if you started fueling your body properly. We're gonna talk about hydration, nutrition, supplementation, and how to have a better understanding of controlling your muscle gain and weight loss. Week number five, technical skill development. If you want better ball control, better shooting, dribbling, turning, passing, first touch, all of these areas will be improved when you take this information into consideration. Combine this with the technical training that you'll be doing on a daily basis and you will start to see a big change in your skills very quickly. Week six, athleticism. This is something I struggled with growing up and I see many players doing the same things. We only focus on our technical development and we neglect the physical side of the game. But this sport is becoming more and more physical and if you cannot keep up, you will be left out. So week six, we're focusing on fitness, taking care of your body, becoming faster, stronger, breathing efficiently, and how to play with more aggression and intensity. Week seven, decision making. Your skills, your fitness will all be wasted if you do not develop the ability to make the right decision at the right time. This is what separates average players from elite players. You need to become smarter. You need to play quicker. This section will help you do all of that and more. Week eight, defending. One of the quickest ways to transform your game overnight is to put as much effort, energy, and passion into your defending as you do your attacking. Everyone wants to score goals. Very few players want to stop them. Be the type of player who loves to do both and your game will change overnight. We'll talk about individual defending, team defending, and how to become a better defender on your own. Week number nine, attacking. Defending is extremely important, but if you want to be the type of player who catches attention and stands out on the pitch, you're going to have to make an impact on the other side of the field. Creating chances, scoring goals, dribbling past players, making more assists, all of this covered in this segment. Week 10 is all about match performance. As I stated earlier, many players have the ability to perform well, when it doesn't matter. But when the final match is being played, when the tryouts are being held, you need to have the ability to show up and play your best game. In this section, we'll talk about how to play better in matches, how to prepare more effectively for matches, how to go in with the proper mindset so you can dominate when it matters most. Week 11, recovery. If you want to be able to perform consistently, to have a long career, to avoid injury, you need to learn how to take care of your body and how to efficiently remove stiffness and soreness so while everyone else is complaining, you are rested, rejuvenated, and ready to go. 
Week 12, taking action. Being a good player is very important, but there are millions of players around the world who are good players, but never make it to the next level. It's because they don't take the proper steps. So whether you want to make a higher level team, you want to earn a college scholarship, play professionally one day, being good enough is not going to get you there. You have to do specific things to get to the next level. In this section, I'll give you very detailed information on how to achieve those long-term goals that many of us have. During this 12-week educational process, you'll also be doing a 12-week at-home training routine. I wanted to create something that you could do in a small space with no equipment so there are no excuses. Each day, you will do a different workout routine which will focus on a different area of your development. Every four weeks, the difficulty of the training will increase, starting from beginner, moving into intermediate, and finally, the advanced routine. The workouts are 15 minutes in length, so you have no excuses. If you want to become a better player, you can commit 15 minutes per day. Below each training routine, you will find an in-depth tutorial explaining how to do each drill more effectively, tips and ideas to get the most out of each session. You will also get access to 12 professional match analysis videos where I'll break down movement, decision-making, technique from the best players in the world to help you get a better understanding of what you should be doing when you're on the field. On top of all of that, I'll give you access to programs I've created in the past. These range from interviews with professional football players, FIFA agents, club scouts, college coaches, at-home cooking tutorials, additional training routines you can use at home, in the gym, and on the pitch. Some of these are very in-depth training courses that I've made in the past, and you can go through all of these at your own pace.